My mindset through the entirety of this process has been make as many mistakes as possible. With everything that you do, there can and will be something you can do better. Whether you drive the entire project into the ground or you make the best thing you could possibly make, there's gonna be something you could have done better. I went into Sirens with the idea that I'm gonna learn as much as possible because this is also new for me. This is my first time writing something, my first time working with actors, with a camera department, sound department, G&E. You should have seen when the grip truck rolled up at 5 a.m. At every stage in this process, I knew there were mistakes to be made and I wanted to make them because I wanted to learn. I know it sounds kind of foolish, but I really felt like this was the time to make mistakes. I was surrounded by such a patient crew who's willing to educate me and inform me and, and be patient with me as I worked through this process of directing for the first time, not to mention that I had access to Dolby and Ghetto Film School, who I could turn to at any point and ask for advice or ask for help and just generally learn from. And in all honesty, the stakes were pretty low at this point. As long as I delivered a film to Dolby and Ghetto Film School, they were happy. They had no expectations on me of what to create. They just had an expectation, here's the deadline, make something. And it was really a beautiful process because I did end up creating something I'm very proud of. But I was able to learn so much in a time where I don't have executives breathing down my neck, I don't have clients to answer to, I just have to finish my film. This, right now, is the time for me to be making mistakes. Not in the future, but now, when I'm surrounded by people who are willing and able to educate me in the moment and prepare me for the future, so that the mistakes I'm making right now will never happen again.